In about a month, I have a solo concert in Paris. I was missing 10 minutes of music and I didn't really know what to play since I had covered almost everything. So I guess I said, let's play something beautiful for the audience, a romantic period, 19th century. So I was looking at my old pieces and my eyes fell upon Le Deux Pars by Napoleon Frost, which was actually my bread and butter as a piece uh, like three years ago, three and a half years ago. I was playing it a lot. So I said, yeah, why not? Yeah, let's play this. I haven't played this piece since ages. I mean, last time I think was either in Spain three years ago. I think, actually, I think that's my very first uh, YouTube video. I'll put it so you can check it out. It was uh, my last concert in Spain. Then I think I played it after two months in Greece as well, in summer 2018. That was the very last time I played this piece. But I think I have it very clear in my mind. I think I will be able to play it without too many memory problems. There will be a lot of raw notes, a lot of mistakes, but well, whatever. So I'll just try to concentrate and not destroy it too much.
So many memories. This piece has accompanied me for like two years of my life. That's quite a lot of time for me because I tend to change pieces so often. I want to learn new things, uh, keep everything fresh. But coming back to this old piece really gives me an idea of uh, how I grow as a musician and as a guitarist, of course. If we compare it to even like now, I have so many new things in mind, so many new ideas. If we compare it to what I did three years ago in Spain, I think the performances are completely different, but I'm sure that's a good thing. The ideas that I will construct and all these uh, new influences from everything that I have experienced in my life and in music for the last three years, I can use all that to make something uh, beautiful. I, at least I'll try. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really enjoyed making this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it too. If you want to keep up with my guitar practice and my vlogs, my guitar related vlogs, etc., then you can always subscribe. Make sure you put in all your thoughts in the comments. I'm really, for me, the best part actually of these videos is when I read the comments and then we can have some interesting conversation. And I really want to thank my patrons as well because to know that some people really care about what you're striving for, for me, that's amazing really and i think that on that note i'll finish this vlog i'll see you on the next one i guess get out of here